So our first step in creating Mary's lead funnel strategy, which includes a lead magnet and a Facebook ad, and we're gonna be collecting those email addresses, is we're going to create the flow in which we're going to collect those email addresses, deliver the lead magnet, and connect it to her Facebook ad. So what we need to do is go to flows on the left side menu and click on new flow. Name the flow and create. So we can start building our flow out. So in the first message, what we wanna do is actually collect an email address. So we're gonna to go to user input. Now again, this is a pro feature, but it's probably the most powerful pro feature inside of ManyChat, and it's worth every penny if you want to collect email addresses. So let's write out a little message to get people to confirm their email addresses. Now this is a really cool feature because Facebook is actually going to populate in the messenger the actual email address that the end user has associated to their Facebook account. But you can also give them the option to type an alternate in. And then we can save that as a custom field and export it wherever we need to export it to. So that could be our CRM, it could be a Google Sheet, it can be an email service provider. So let's go ahead and do that. So I just type, please click on the email below to confirm or type a preferred alternate in order to receive instant access to the five day fitness plan. Now over here on the edit user input, we wanna change the reply type to email. Now if we were asking for other things, say a phone number, we would click phone number, or maybe we'll want their URL, or maybe we want them to upload something. So you have a couple of choices here, but in this case we want email, so we're gonna go with email. Now, because we're doing email, if the end user were to type in something that was not a correct email format, then this message here would be sent. You can edit this message, I'm just gonna leave it here. You can also say skip if the end user does not wanna give their email address. In this case, we're gonna require it, so I'm gonna remove the word skip. Now we want to make sure that we are saving those emails somewhere and that's where custom fields come in. A custom field is a place to store information about an individual user, whereas you might hear the term bot field. A bot field actually follows the entirety of the bot around. So it's information about everything going on in the bot, whereas the custom field is just for that user and an email is specific to that particular user. So we wanna create a custom field to save their email, which I already have here, user email. Now, if you don't have a custom field created, it's actually really easy. You can just start typing in here and you'll see the option new custom field. Now in the case of email addresses, and yes, even phone numbers, these are text. You'll see you have the option of text, number, date, date and time, true and false. You definitely wanna go with text. You can also put a description if you like. I'm gonna skip that for now and then you would create it. At this point, we also can create an action. Now I'm gonna hold off on actions for just a minute, but we're gonna circle back and I'm gonna show you how you can automate exporting these email addresses into Google Sheets using an action. But first, let's go ahead and deliver that lead magnet. So they've given us their email, the next step will not happen until the user replies with an email, and then we're going to send them the thing we promised, which is our five-day fitness plan. So we have a couple of choices when it comes to inserting PDFs. We can either directly upload them into ManyChat by clicking on the file button here. And I'm just going to click on this and select the file I want to upload. There we go. And that's it. And the way that looks, just so that you can get a feel, is it'll say right here, thank you, here's your fitness plan. And it's just going to have this here, Mary's fitness plan. And they would click on that and be directed to downloading. Now, some people are not necessarily comfortable with directly downloading a message. So another option that you can have, instead of having it directly right here in the Messenger bot, is you can host your PDF wherever you might host it. In this case, I went ahead and hosted it on Amazon on S3. So in order to do that, I'm just going to put a little button here that says access now, and then I'm going to open a website and I'm just going to put the URL from wherever I'm hosting that document and click done. This way, when this happens, here's what our message will now look like. So I'm gonna confirm my email address and then it says access now, I click it and instead of having to download, it opens up the guide 
in the next tab. So it actually is a really nice, clean way of delivering a PDF if you want to utilize that choice. You can do both. You could choose just to do this, or you could choose to upload the file. It's completely up to you. For Mary, we're going to go ahead and host it elsewhere and keep it just nice and clean and simple. So when you're ready, click publish. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to set up the automations that's going to help you export those email addresses directly into Google Sheets. And then we're going to explore how to set up a Facebook ad and tie it all together.